and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 2nd of November 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Go Markets here on what is a big day in terms of market information and data. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news today. US equities were mildly low. We saw some cautious trading dropping off pretty soon after market open on the back of the anticipated Federal Reserve interest rate rise of 0.75%. And of course, big earnings still on investor minds. Uh, US futures are pretty neutral in Asia, giving up the early gains. They did start slightly positive, but then gave them up and are trading near zero. Asian indices are mixed in early trading. We are seeing the ASX trading just above neutral, though off its highs at 0.2% to the upside. European equity futures are also pointing to a mildly higher open at this stage, but that may change significantly prior to market open this afternoon. The US dollar index edged higher again yesterday, slightly lower today. Gold strengthens to move back towards 1650 after a potential test of 1620 support. Oil has edged to the top of the range, but still under the 200 EMA across most of the futures contracts. Copper futures are trading in the short term range between 340 and 350 and the VIX continues to edge lower despite that equity weakness we saw last night. Bitcoin hasn't moved very much since yesterday, holding that key 20,000 level. And of course, it is a busy day again. All eyes are on the Fed with that interest rate decision due out in the middle of the night. And big earnings uh, also going on. It is the busiest day of the earnings season so far. We've got uh, Yum, Qualcomm, CVS and many, many more reporting. So markets will be keeping an eye on that alongside what the Fed's going to do. On top of that, if that isn't enough to be digesting, the market has got the ADP jobs data out tonight. Just throw in some German employment and manufacturing data uh, that's also due today and it makes for an interesting day all round. Undoubtedly, we would classify today as a high risk day. Let's just see what's happening on a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. Let's start on the ASX and we're looking at Linus Corp Limited in the rare earth space. Take a code LYC and you can see yesterday we had that breach of the 200 MA and today we've moved up sharply towards this key level at around about 880. Should we breach that? There's plenty of upside potential in this, maybe up as high as around about 927, which would represent a very respectable 5.5% move to the upside. Uh, markets seem to like this stock uh, in the long term. Lots of positive noise in terms of its potential long term. On the FX front, the GB pound Kiwi has caught our eye this morning. We made our way down to support over the last couple of days to 196.42 on the daily chart. You can see how important historically this level has been. And should we breach it, there could be a move down fairly significantly to of around about 160 pips. But at this stage, it looks as though a bounce may be more on the cards. And if we should get that, then we could see it up towards this 198.82 level. Let's just have a look at this on the hourly chart. For short-term traders, perhaps the level to be interested in is around about this 197.25. This will confirm the reversal and give us that potential upside there that we've talked about. Possibly bring this down to this level on the shorter time frame, but there's still in excess of 100 pips there. So one possibly to keep an eye on as the day progresses. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.